Hey listen, it's your girl Bella and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a little bit different. I mostly just film lifestyle content, but I've never filmed a video quite like this one before. And although I do not plan on filming a bunch of luxury related videos, I do have a bone to pick with this bag that I recently purchased. So just over a week ago, I was in Paris. I went to Europe and I went to a few different cities for some weddings, for some family reunion, just hanging out with friends. And I had a really great time. And I knew that when I went to Paris that I really wanted to get a Louis Vuitton bag, specifically my very first Louis Vuitton bag. So I went to Shops Elysee, and by the way, if, if I'm pronouncing anything wrong in this video, please forgive me. I'm American, okay? <laughs> and I have a very American accent. But I went to Shops Elysee, which is the biggest Louis Vuitton in the world, to get my very, very first LB bag. Uh, what an experience. It was so great. I made a really awesome essay. She helped me out. And I ended up purchasing this specific bag. So there are three bags that were on my radar. It was this bag I'm about to show along with the wallet on chain lily which i really really wanted i actually saw it like a week before i went to paris when i was in manchester i saw it i saw a girl holding it and i was like oh my god i need that but that bag is only sold online in europe and only sold in person in the u.s for some reason it's like a re-released bag um so it's not like super hyped up yet but i was curious about that i was also curious about the loop bag which a lot of people don't like but i like it because for one i don't see it too often when I do see it, I feel like people don't style it correctly. <laughs> I feel like it's a super edgy bag and I like stuff like that. But I decided for my first bag, I would get this one, which is, it's so cute. This is the Alma BB and the Dami Evan print. I'm probably saying it wrong, so forgive me. But yes, this bag is so cute. It's the classic Louis Vuitton print. It is canvas with, I believe, some leather trim it has feet on the bottom it can be top handled or it also has a cross body a cross body strap one of my favorite things about this bag is it does have a lock on it which i think is so perfect because louis vuitton started off as a truck company so just having that little lock is so cute and then underneath here you can actually um this, this is a stiff bag let's just start by saying that in here you actually have the keys and of course you can take this tag off if you wanted to lock your bag and take the keys away but it just kind of reminds you of the originality of Louis Vuitton being a truck company to begin with. So I settled on this bag and a few things about this bag. I've wanted this bag probably since like last year. I actually, this is actually my second time getting this bag. I purchased this bag in February, but I told myself that I wasn't going to buy any luxury item until I hit a very specific goal that I had. And then I bought it in, in February and my friend got mad at me because he was like, you weren't supposed to do that. <laughs> So I went and returned it. And then knowing that I was going to Europe later that year and hitting my goal, I decided, okay, I'm going to get this bag now. So this is the bag. I got it. I was super excited. I will say, okay, there's a couple reasons why I don't love this bag. Like, and it's quite upsetting. For one, this bag is really small, which is not a big deal. I'm going to be comparing this bag to the Givenchy and Tigona bag throughout this video because these are two very similar bags, just different brands and different looks, obviously. This bag is really small. And I don't know why I keep feeling like that because it's like pretty much the exact same size as the Antigona. Like these are, it might be like a teeny tiny bit smaller, but this bag feels really small. This bag also feels really cheap. And it is one of Louis Vuitton's cheapest bags. It's, I think it's probably their ninth or 10th cheapest bag. It's a classic bag, but it is a more like entry level bag because it's not as expensive as like their full leather bags. This bag is canvas, which is what makes it cheaper than the full leather bag. So it's coated canvas, which means it's technically like plastic. Um, it just, it feels really cheap. Um, it feels really, really cheap. It really does. And I don't like that about the bag. I have felt a never full before, which is also coated canvas. And it did not feel as cheap as this bag feels. But that's just one thing. If that was the only con about the bag, I would have honestly just kept it and gotten over it. I actually am going to return this bag today and get a different one. <laughs> which is why I'm filming this today. The other con with this bag and the biggest con is this bag is so hard to get into. And I had only heard one person say that before. I don't know why I hadn't heard it more. I heard one person say it. I have a cousin who has this bag and I believe the exact same print. And she, I asked her if it was hard to get into. She said, no, this bag is so hard to get into. And I'm gonna show you first why it's hard to get into and then compare it to the Antigona and show you how the Antigona is so much easier to get into. So, and also just by the way, I've never used this bag. I took it out yesterday to use it and I was like, I don't like this bag anymore. Okay, so to get into the bag, let me go ahead. I'm gonna take off these, the long crossbody strap. So to get into this bag, oh, I love this little lock, yeah, I can't. To get into this bag, you have to unzip it, of course. 
The zipper is all the way down here, so it's like a full zip. So watch me unzip this. I literally have to switch hands and like do the most to like unzip the bag. Now, of course, we have this beautiful red interior, which I'm gonna miss so much. It's so gorgeous. But this is just such a hard bag to zip. Like I'm not even trying to be funny right now. Look at how difficult that is to zip. And the zipper feels kind of stiff, which even the first one I bought that I tried on, I've noticed the zipper always feels kind of stiff. But it's just like the fact that you have to switch hands when unzipping the bag and then it gets like kind of not stuck, but you're here in the middle and you have to pretty much drop the handle because how are you gonna unzip it? It's really, really uh, finicky to open. And now I'm thinking, okay, maybe when it's crossbody, it'll be easier to open. So here's a, here's a crossbody strap. I have a complaint about this strap too, which I'll get to. But one cute little detail with this bag is that you know where to crossbody it because it had this little um, point. So I go ahead and crossbody it. The crossbody does feel very secure in terms of like how you put it on the bag. So let's crossbody it and try to unzip it, okay? I move my chair out of the way. So when I have a crossbody trying to unzip it, it's the exact same thing. And I'll just have to really do the mouse and the bag is kind of really flimsy also. Now compare, you saw how I did that, right? Compare this to the Givenchy Mini Antigona, which here's this bag. Like look at how easy this is to zip and unzip. And part of the reason why this Antigona is way easier to unzip than this bag is because of the placement of the crossbody strap. So this also, this crossbody strap is also um, removable. I would say this one is a little bit more secure than this one, this crossbody strap, if you're not careful. If you lock it in the perfect spot, it will unhook. But the crossbody is right here. For this bag, the crossbody is right here. It's on the handle, which is also why it's very, it's harder to unzip. And because the zipper goes all the way down, that's just like the style of the bag. They had nowhere else to put it but right here. I also feel like because this has these gold hooks on it, which is what allows you to remove this strap, it just feels very flimsy. It just, it doesn't feel like a good quality bag, honestly. And that's disappointing because this was, this is my first LB bag and it doesn't feel like good quality. It doesn't feel like it's worth the price. Comparing the price in US dollars, this is $17,060. This is $19,020. Both of them are top handles about the same size. Both of them um, have a removable crossbody strap. This one is full leather. This one is printed canvas with leather trim. Also, I like, although I just compared the straps and I said that this one has a better strap in terms of it being more secure. You know, the strap will not come off the crossbody. This one is way thicker. Like look at the difference in thickness. So unfortunately, this is a bag that I had on my radar for quite a while, but upon owning it, I don't love as much. Like I said, I've bought this bag twice. Now this is my second time buying it, but I've never worn it. So I am actually going to go to the LB store <laughs> and return it today. I went to the LB store yesterday to see if they had a specific bag that I wanted in stock and they did. They had one left and I love LB's essays. They're always so nice because she said she'd leave hold it for me until tomorrow because it's the last one left in stock. So I'm going to be returning this bad boy. And if you're interested in buying this bag, I, I personally would not recommend it. I think the bag is literally the cutest thing ever and i just love its homage to the originality of louis vuitton and how to and how the brand started but it's just not a very easy to use bag if i kept this bag i would constantly not use it because of just how difficult it is to get in and out of like this is a bag that because it's so hard to zip and unzip i probably just leave it unzip and you can't even do that with this bag because the zipper goes all the way down here your stuff is gonna fall out so unfortunately i'll be sending this giving this back comment down below in the comments what bag do you think i'm going to be getting instead because i am going to be getting a different bag um like i said i would not recommend this bag i think there are much better crossbodies i really recommend the antigona over this i love this bag and i want to get it i want more of these like i want a black one and then i want a small size or i think it's a smaller medium that could like fit like my laptop and a bunch of stuff in i just i adore this bag it's so great this bag is gorgeous there's nothing like it in terms of look it has that signature louis vuitton print it's a beautiful bag it's just not practical it's not a practical bag it's not very easy to use and at the end of the day for me as someone who's just now building out their luxury bag collection i only have five i need bags that are practical because even though i am willing to pay more for luxury brands because i've always loved them since i was younger and i'm probably at a point now where i can afford them i need a bag to function as a bag and be useful if the bag's not useful there's really no point in me spending close to two thousand dollars after tax on this bag and um oh also part of why i want to get this bag in europe at champs alize is because in europe these bags are cheaper all of the bags are pretty much cheaper in europe because 
you don't pay import fees. The bags are more expensive in the US because of import fees and because of taxes. So this bag cost me 1,500 euros. And I also got money back from the VAT tax refund. I got $250 back. So I probably really pay like 12, I don't know, I don't know the conversion, I don't know the conversion. But it's like 1,500 euros minus 250 US dollars is what I paid for this bag. So we'll see how it converts when I get the Lily wallet on chain. I will still get the wallet on chain for technically a discount because I got the tax back for this. And I feel like by the time they convert this into US dollars and then I get the new bag, it should be at the same price. But anyway, even if the other bag costs a little bit more, I don't care, I'm still getting it. But yes, this is the bag. This is the Louis Vuitton Alma that I will be returning, unfortunately. This is not very suitable for my lifestyle at this moment. I bought this bag twice now. I have no intention to ever buy this bag again. And I personally would not recommend it. I know it is a cheap Louis Vuitton bag. And it's very, very beautiful and it's a classic, but there is other better bags out there. So thank you all so much for watching. Comment down below what you think I will get next. What do you think will be my exchange for this gorgeous bag? Please let me know. I'm so curious. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.